um, and growth and expansion can even take place. And this is honestly often where the youth fall short or where, where everybody just disappears because they don't understand, or we don't understand, and it took me a long time to understand this as well. Um, we don't understand that God is just as capable of using us as he is of using someone that is two times, even three times our age. Our role and our purpose is just as significant. Amos 2.11 says, I also raised up prophets from among your children and Nazarites from among your youths. Is this not, is this not true, people of Israel? So the calling is there. It's there, but have you answered it? And one of my favorite callings in the Bible is the call of uh, the prophet Jeremiah, because I find it so completely relatable. And uh, if you turn with me to Jeremiah 1, Jeremiah 1, um, starting with verse 4. The word of the Lord came to me saying, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. And listen to his response, because this is the typical response. This is what everybody gives. This is the excuse that so many youths give uh, when they're called to do anything. At last, sovereign Lord, I said, I do not know how to speak. I am too young. And if I use that excuse, I would not be sitting in front of you right now. Um, and then listen to what God says. Do not say I am too young. You must go to everyone I send to you and say whatever I command to you. Do not be afraid of them for I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. And then if you go down to verse 12, the end says, for I am watching to see that my word is being fulfilled. And we tend to forget that because we don't visibly see God. We forget that he's clocking our actions 24 seven. Um, so, I don't want the youth to worry about how they are going to do something. Um, we assume that God only calls the equipped, but rather, I believe that he equips those who answer the call. So it's not your job to worry about that. It's your job to say, yes, I'm ready. It's not, um, if we're looking at this as a big building project, your role, your job is to show up to the site. The tools that you're going to use, don't worry about it. God's got it. How to use those tools, don't worry about it. God's got it. So once you answer that call, I promise you that God will take care of everything else. And um, Isaiah 6 verse 8 says, Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go out for us? And I said, Here I am, send me. Um, so you recognized your condition, repented, and responded to the call. What's next? And this is the third stage, which is raise up and rebuild. And I believe that when you get to this stage, you're, you have truly reached, you're, you're now able to walk in your true purpose and calling. Because the other two stages were just to prepare you. You're just getting ready, but now you're at that, you're, you, you prepared and now you're ready to build, you're ready to grow, you're ready to expand. Um, so now the renewal and growth process can begin. So we always hear that we are, um, as, as Christians, we are members of one body, different functions, but yeah, one body. And I like to think of the youth as the feet because uh, we are, we're the runners, we are the trailblazers. Um, there, I think that there's a passion and drive for action that you have when you're young that cannot be replicated at any other stage in your life. So when God says, do this, go here, I need you to do this, I need you to talk to this person, we should, in reality, we should usually be the first ones to answer. But when you think about it, we're usually the last. We're always dragging our feet. Um, <laughs> um, and uh, to conclude, I can round it up. Paul was writing to Timothy in 1 Timothy 4, 12 and 15. If I could just sum up 
the role in just one verse, this would be it. It says, don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. And verse 15 says, be diligent in these matters, give yourself wholly to them so that everyone may see your progress. And I underlined, highlighted, and circled the word progress because I find it synonymous with the word growth. And that's what we're here for, that's exactly where we're aiming to be. And a renewed individual will create a renewed youth ministry. A renewed youth ministry or a strong youth ministry is a direct reflection of the to some people. We are the future. And so it's up to us to decide whether we're going to remain in a stagnant and dilapidated state or whether we're going to strive for revival or renewal or growth. But it starts as a personal decision. And that personal decision has a risk.